Hello, hello, YouTube, Danny here, Sigbiker Studio, and today I've got for you all the Shimano Rode group sets. Uh, this time a bit differently because uh, I've put all together so that you've got one episode, everything in one place, uh, you can click through different group sets and compare those. Um, this episode is for all of you guys who love gears, I know you do, <laughs> me, me too, uh, but I'm giving you as much information as you need to make decisions. Should I buy the same bike on 105 or Altigra? Should I upgrade from Sora to Tiagra? What will be the real difference? That's it, we've got six group sets starting from Claris, ending with Dura Ace and also like extra two, uh, which will be the Electronical Di2 for Altigra and Dura Ace. Let's start it. And so we've got six Shimano road group sets. There's also the Shimano Tourney, but in my opinion, it should not be produced. Uh, it's been um, designed both for like very budget roadies and mountain bikes, which are not really road bikes and mountain bikes. Uh, but last for a nice piece of group set of components, which I could actually recommend you is six group sets. And that's Shimano Claris, Sora, Tiagra, 105, Altigra and Dura Ace. So that's six. Plus the Shimano Altigra and Dura Ace uh, come also as the electronical ones. So the six, uh, the six I mentioned as the first ones are the mechanical ones. And then Altigra and Dura Ace can also be battery operated. And you're gonna see that in the second. Six group sets. Do we really have six different groups of customers for the road bikes? I don't really think so. It's it's just too much. So I'm gonna simplify. I'm gonna try to simplify the things for you. In my opinion, we should have two group sets for racing. Uh, the top top Dura Ace. I understand that fully. It's a wonderful group set for pro riders, and then a more affordable version of Dura Ace. That would be two. And then two group sets for amateur road biking, graveling and, and, and uh, commuting. One would be the basic one for very budget bikes and the second one, let's call it like premium amateur group sets. But we've got six, so I'm gonna try to simplify it. And in order to make it quite simple for you guys, I'm gonna mention the first and, and very obvious uh, difference between all these group sets. That's the number of the gear on the cassette. Cassette, that's the part we have mounted, uh, assembled to the rear wheel and we've got different number of the sprockets there. Uh, because as for the crank sets, we will have usually the choice between double and triple. But for the cassettes, we've got eight speed on Claris, nine speed or nine gears sprockets on Sora, 10 gears, 10 speed for Tiagra, and then Shimano 105, Altigra and Dura Ace are 11 speed. And what I would tell you is that Shimano 105, Altigra and Dura Ace are for those who train a lot and want to race. And Tiagra, uh, Sora and Claris are for amateur riding. Which one to choose? Let's see. And so I'm gonna cover all these group sets. Uh, with each group set, I'm gonna start by telling you some general info so that if you just want to get the grasp of what are the differences, you just uh, click the hyperlink and the first couple of minutes, I'm telling you the, the main info. And then if you're really interested in the sprockets, in the chain links and everything, uh, I'm gonna get a little bit deeper into that. Uh, but let's start with two myths about different group sets. The myth number one is that you're gonna be faster on a better group set. You can be fast, you can be super fast on Shimano Claris, which is what? T 10 times cheaper than Shimano Dura Ace. If you're a pro rider riding right now in uh, Tour de France and your group set is, let's say, 700, lighter, uh, 700 grams lighter than some other group set, that might make a difference for so many weeks and so high level. You could just burn less calories and and recover a little bit better. That's something, uh, some marginal gains that pro riders are, are searching for. But as for everyday riding and even racing in some uh, in some road races, you can be super fast on Sora. You can be really, really fast. Uh, I have one of my riding buddies is riding Shimano Tiagra and he's crushing me no, no matter what I'm really riding. So that's the myth number one. 
And the second myth is that the more gears you have in the rear, uh, the easier it will be for you to climb in the mountains. Um, it's actually not true because uh, even Shimano Claris, the cheapest group we're going to talk about, which is 8-speed, uh, so 8 sprockets on the cassette, will give you the range of the gears you need for the most steep climbs you're going to ever climb. So it's the, not the number of the sprockets, but how large the sprockets are, and Shimano Claris already has everything you need. Uh, the only difference um, in practice between, let's say, 8-speed and 11-speed cassette will be that you're going to have uh, less or smaller differences in cadence when you change the gears. So if you are time trialing, if you are, if you're going for a long rides, uh, and you need to have the right cadence and the, the, high pos the highest possible speed, then more um, sprockets on the cassette can make a difference. Let's start with the Claris. Very happy presenting to you this group set because uh, it is very cheap comparing to other group sets of Shimano also. Uh, so very affordable and it's got most of the systems that uh, the other group sets have. Of course it's not very light but it doesn't matter here. It will work and if you have the power in your legs you can, you can ride fast and you can be happy with it. Who should be thinking about buying Shimano Claris? I think most of you who are riding or will be riding on Shimano Claris uh, components will not buy a separate group set but the bike. So some like budget uh, entry-level road bike, entry-level um, gravel bike or entry-level entry-level some, some budget commuter uh, equipped with Claris would be a wonderful bike. Really wonderful bike. Um, on the Claris we've got the option of shifters for the road handlebars, so the ones, but also uh, rapid fire shifters and uh, the uh, braking levers for the flat bars. So if you are gonna buy trekking bike, some kind of commuter hybrid bike, Claris has all the options you will need. Um, no need to upgrade, no need to have anything else. There is nothing outdated now on the Shimano Claris. If you have more info, stay with me. And so going further, the cassette. 8-speed um, cassette, but different options. We have the 1130, 1132, 1225, 1326 and 1134 and also 1128. What it means, 11.30. 11, that's the number of the teeth on the smallest gear. That means how fast you can go, so the harder gear. And then 30, that's the, that's the number of the teeth uh, on the largest sprockets. That means how the lowest gear, how much you can climb, so how easy the gear is. Um, the combination 11.34 is very interesting. Uh, for those who will go for the triple crankset, I would go for something like um, 1128, but, but even 1225 might be interesting uh, for, for triple crankset. It depends on uh, what kind of climb, climbs uh, you want to do, but you've got so many options. So I think most of you will go for something like 1132 um, and then the, the double um, cranksets, uh, double chain rings in the front. I think so. As for the crankset, and as for the crankset, um, we finally have the spindle which is integrated with the uh, right crank arm. That means this is the hollow tech system, so no outdated octa links or even square tapered. This is great uh, because it's easier, it is also stiffer. So let's say um, if we have overweight rider who's buying the bike to lose the weight, this system will be much better. I'm happy that, that Claris, even Claris, the lowest groups that we talk about uh, has the system. The crank arms won't be uh, hollow uh, because yeah, we are going for the, for the budget stuff, but they are just okay and, and I have nothing bad to say about it. The road shifters have also been updated. Uh, we've got the, the look of the more expensive group sets. You won't be able to, uh, to recognize from the distance that this is Claris and not Shimano Tigra even, yeah. Um, we've got the internal cable routing, so the cables will go under the bar tape. Also on Shimano Claris, that's cool. Very ergonomic. 
uh, and the cables are coded. Nothing more I would, I, would, uh, I would love to have on such a budget group set. The rapid fire shifters for the flat bars uh, have two way release system, so we can uh, change the gear by pushing or pulling this lever here. Uh, we've got optical gear display, which is not on the uh, road specific shifters, so it's, it looks also uh, more pro. That's great. The front derailleur will come uh, in two versions for the double and triple crank set, looking just good. Uh, and the rear derailleur will come in different uh, cage uh, lengths uh, in order to work with different uh, drivetrain setups. How to choose it, uh, I've got another video about that. Uh, the rear derailleur also looks just cool. It looks similar to the Sora and Tiagra in my opinion, great looking. And finally the brakes. The brakes, that would be the weakest point of the group set, I would say, especially for those who are going to ride in the mountains and maybe for those uh, riders who weigh a little bit more, uh, you might, uh, in this case, you might um, think about some, some upgrade. It's good to consider that. Uh, this is the dual pivot, but the asymmetrical. So it's not the, the most, efficient uh, braking um, system but this is just easy and for most of the entry-level uh, road bike uh, riders it will be just enough. Sora, that's the most difficult one for me to give you any advices about because as I said there, there's too many group sets so which one you should choose uh, from Claris between Claris, Sora and Tiagra. If you're closer to training more and maybe some races, some Grand Fondos I would say Tiagra, but then uh, Claris and Sora, not much, uh, that much difference. Uh, so maybe there will be some bike available from Sora, good components, or from Claris. I would buy it on Claris. On Sora, you're gonna have nine speed, so nine speed, um, nine sprockets uh, on the cassette, and also two versions. We've got double chain ring, a double chain set, and a triple chain set. The triple one is the older uh, fashion and it also comes with the uh, protection version. Claris and Sora get the protection. So you can ride in, in the trousers. Uh, from Tiagra upwards we don't have that option. But Tiagra will still have also a triple uh, crank set option. As for the chain sets, uh, both the Claris and Sora will come with the triple uh, chain set having 50, 39 and 30 teeth. And then the double one is a compact version, uh, only compact, 50, 34 and that's more than enough for, for amateur riders. Uh, I'm not amateur and I would still want to have rather 50, 34 than 52, 36. Uh, on my own bike. The chain set, of course, in the Holotech system, so we've got the integrated spindle and the crank arms are not hollow, uh, so a little bit heavier. Cassettes, there is nothing crazy in terms of the technologies here, uh, but as for the options, we've got 1125, and that's new for the Sora, 1128, 1132, 1134 teeth. I think uh, most of uh, us would go for uh, 1128, 1132, uh, but 1125 is also an uh, interesting option for the triple crank set. We still have the version for the flat bars, so just a normal regular uh, braking lever and the rapid fire shifters for the flat bars. As for the brakes, we still have this asymmetric uh, dual pivot system. They will, they, will, they will update it in the future for sure. The shifters, ergonomic, very similar. I wonder uh, if we were to make a blind test on most of you guys, if you would be able to recognize just by touching those between Claris to maybe even Durace, uh, the difference, uh, these, are, these are very good. The rear derailleur, nothing crazy, no new technologies uh, for sure here, but nothing outdated uh, either. Different lengths uh, of the rear derailleur cage for different uh, drivetrain setup. The front mag comes of course in the um, version for triple and double chain set and it's got here additional plastic insert uh, I think for more silence when changing the gears. The chain of course uh, different for each group set because uh, when the number of the gears changes then the width of the chain changes as well so we had 8 speed ch uh, chain on the Claris, 9 speed 
uh, on Sora and then there will be 10 speed on Tiagra. Shimano Tiagra. When to think about Tiagra? If you are closer to training and maybe sometimes racing Tiagra is very good for you, just remember uh, if you buy this group set uh, you should be buying it without thinking about future upgrades because this is still 10 speed group set and it won't be compatible with 11 speed 105 or 2 Gradura Ace. So you cannot simply swap the cassette with 105 because cassette will be 11 speed. Uh, you would have to change the, 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 the whole drive chain actually. The, the shifters, the chain, at least the chain rings uh, on the crank set most likely. So buying this group you think about riding a lot but without upgrading. That's what I would say. Very good group set, but do not think about future upgrades. Just just replace the, the stuff that doesn't work and ride it. 10 speed. Uh, why 10 speed, not 8 speed? If you if you want to work more, if you do more like intervals and you want to have the right cadence, then 10 speed versus 8 speed will be better. 10 speed versus 9 speed is not that much difference, but also Tiagra is still quite affordable group set. So for riding more Tiagra, amazing. Let's continue the drivetrain uh, topic. The cassette will come in 1125, 1228, 1132, 1134 teeth. The crank set uh, gets a new option because so far Clarissa we had compact ones. 5034 on Tiagra we can choose between 5034 or 5236 that's like a semi uh, compact uh, crankset as for the triple one we still have the version of 5039 30 teeth just as on the lower group sets this group sets will still have and it will be the last one uh, to have the flat bars option so we have uh, braking levers for flat bars and the rapid fire shifters the chain 10 speed chain it says actually diori here it's cnhg54 uh, and it's got the hgx system so it will shift maybe a little bit more crisp the shifters for the uh, road specific bars i can't tell you too much here they they just work they just click uh, nicely shimano have really ergonomic uh, ergonomically shaped shifters as for the technologies on the crank sets, we have same hollow tech system and still the crank arms will not be uh, hollow, so a little bit heavier, but stiff enough for riding, training, racing. The rear driller still no new technologies, it's just working and looking decent. The front derailleur gets new arc here, new arm here. Uh, for your cable routing uh, and it's supposed to change the gears uh, a little bit better than Claris and Sora but keep your housings and cables on Claris and Sora clean and your your gear change will be very good. The brakes still haven't been updated so we'll still have this asymmetrical dual pivot system even though uh, on the Shimano catalog they say that a modulation of the braking power is higher by 30% Okay, uh, we can fit here 28C tires. So this was Claris Sora Tiagra. Um, all three are good group sets, uh, no outdated, finally no outdated technologies. So these are really, really good. If you cannot afford uh, Tiagra by Sora, if you can't afford bike on Sora, bike, uh, buy bike on Claris, just maintain it make sure your chain is clean and looped, your housings and cables are clean, it will give you really nice uh, performance, so just a lot of fun on the bike. Now we are starting with the 105 Altigra Endura Ace, um, but the Shimano 105 I've got here is the 105 5800, which is already the previous generation because the newer one has just been launched. And it also makes this one more interesting because uh, you can probably find some nice discounts on this one once the newer one uh, gets to the store. So let's look at this one. So what is Shimano 105 5800? This is the first group set with the 11 speed cassette. So it will be 2 by 11 and also the first one which won't have the triple crank set option. So if you need the triple crank set, you can only choose between uh, Tiagra, Sora and Claris because this one will be only 
2 by 11 and it's same for 105 Altigra and Durace because these three group sets are made for series riding. So the cassette, 11 speeds with uh, three different options, 1125, 1132, uh, 1225, uh, I think most of us uh, would use 1128, I'm, I'm sorry, 1128, 1132, uh, 1225. So I think 1128 might be the option for, for many of us, 1132 is also a good option. And then the crankset, uh, which is double now only, uh, will come in three different versions. Compact 5032, semi-compact 5236 and pro version 5339. Having three options on the crankset is nice, but uh, it, it makes us wonder which one should I go for. I think for most of us, 5034, the compact version will be just fine. I'm riding now 5236 and I would like to switch to 5034. Uh, having 50 tooth on the larger sprockets uh, will allow us to ride more, like more distances on the larger one, so bigger chaining in the front. That's better because uh, you can still ride smoother, faster. Um, it's it's something I would really go for. Uh, changing to the smaller chaining chaining on the crankset will always slow you down. So having a smaller, big chainring is an advantage if you're not super strong. I am not super strong, but 5034 with the 1128 cassette is still pretty good for, for riding fast. One of the bigger updates between uh, Tiagra going to 105 is the dual pivot symmetrical design. Uh, so this one feels firmer, better, stronger. It doesn't feel that spongy. I mean, Tiagra is not spongy. Claris is not spongy, but it feels like uh, more fir firmer uh, on your braking lever. I do like we have the option of the direct mount um, on, on this brake. So this is one of the biggest updates on the Shimano 105-5800 comparing to Tiagra 4700. The front derailleur has also this longer arc here. Uh, remember to thread or to, to route the cable just as the arrow here uh, points because if you do it like on the other uh, groups on the different uh, uh, front derailleurs uh, like the previous ones uh, it won't work so this works it is fine only double so 2 by 11 the rear derailleur still no bigger updates. The old Tigra has the, the biggest update on the rear derailleur. It works just fine, it's, it's okay. Um, and now I can mention that we, we are starting from 105 to Dura Ace. Here the, the materials that uh, the engineers have been using change because um, Claris Sora Tiagra will be mostly steel and some aluminum parts, 105 through 105 to through Dura Ace there will be more aluminum there will be some polymer carbon fiber forced reinforced there will be also carbon fiber and then on Dura Ace there will be also titanium the 105 shifters i feel like they maybe click a little little bit more little bit more crisp than the Tiagra little bit but no big difference uh, really 11 speed on your right side still ergonomic nice just enough. Of course here we are getting the narrower chain because we've got 11 speed so this is the HG EV or HGX 11 uh, speed chain with the seal tech coating. The whole Shimano 105 group sets comes as a, as a black one and the silver one. This is for example the silver uh, caliper brake uh, but it gets also silver uh, other parts like the crankset and the derailleurs. The 105 gets as the first one gets uh, the dedicated uh, Shimano SP, SPD SL so road uh, clipless pedals. Nice having nice platform clicking very nicely crispy uh, easy to clip in clip out nice piece of pedals. Shimano Altigra R8000. Who should consider buying this one? If, if you have just more money, if you can afford something more than a road bike on the Shimano 105, uh, Altigra will be the sweet spot between 105 and Dura Ace because Dura Ace will be very expensive and Altigra is still much more uh, cheap than the Dura Ace. 
uh, and it will have at least two significant updates comparing to 105. So for everyday uh, riding, uh, ra uh, training and racing, Altegra will be very good group set. 105 will be enough, Altegra will be lighter and have some additional technologies. Two or four. Two biggest updates comparing to 105.5800 is the redrailer and dedicated um, hydraulic disc brakes. Let's start with the redrailer because that's the, the one I feel the most when riding. I actually feel the difference. That's the redrailer in the shadow system. Um, shadow means uh, that the, um, the redrailer has been designed to actually be hidden in the shadow of, of our frame set, of our bike. So it's more difficult to damage one when we, when we crash. It happens on the road bikes uh, as well, but also it means uh, more stability because uh, the springs are harder. Still the shifting is crisp, but this is, this is making our, our chain uh, to work in a, in, a, in a different way, much, much less uh, chain slap on your chain stays. Uh, it will be fine for the road bikes, but it will be amazing for cyclocross bikes and for uh, gravel bikes. So Altigra for gravel bikes, if you, you want to have some advanced gravel bike, Altigra will be amazing. So I would even say, if you're considering two gravel bikes, maybe 105, maybe Altigra version, Altigra with the shadow redrail will be better. It, you, you, you will feel that, uh, it will work better. That's the update I've been waiting for. Now, as for the brakes, uh, these are the hydraulic brakes, shifter, shifter and braking lever combo, and this is the mechanical one. As you can see, uh, the hydraulic one is uh, larger, but still looking quite good, feels ergonomic, maybe even on this, on this uh, grip, some of you will be riding more often. Of course, the mechanical are super ergonomic as all of the shifters from Shimano, from Claris, uh, starting from Claris, really. Uh, so that's it. And then for the, for the whole system, we, we are getting Ice, Technologi uh, Ice Technologies Frieza um, cooling system, basically, which gives you the three layers uh, rotors, uh, steel alloy steel and also additional uh, radiators for uh, dissipating heat that's been working well that's fine and we have two options for the rotors 140 and 160 millimeters the mechanical one as you could see on the um, 105 5 800 has the symmetrical dual pivot system nice nice modulation nice braking power uh, and uh, it will be compatible with all the modern uh, road bike frame sets, also the aero ones. The crank set, it's got even more oversized um, crank arm, of course uh, integrated spindle and uh, sorry for my little mistake, the Claris, Sora and Tiagra are not hollow tech, these are so called by Shimano two-piece uh, crank set that means one piece two piece bloom so the spindle is not the third piece it's just one piece with one arm so two piece crank set this is holotech 2 so uh, the spindle is integrated but also the crank arms are hollow not only the spindle the spindle is hollow on the on the lower group sets as well but the crank arms are hollow starting with shimano 1055 800 so that's holotech 2 the drivetrain uh, we have lots of options on the altigra uh, 46, 36, 50, 34, 52, 32, 53, 31, 39. So standard, semi-compact, compact, and then also 46, 36. And for the cassettes, we've got 11, 25, 11, 28, 11, 30, 11, 32, 12, 25, and 14, 28. I think uh, on the Altigram, most of the riders in nowadays will use the semi-compact, which is 52, 34, with something like 1128, 1130 uh, teeth cassette. That's what I think. Shimano Dura Ace, the highest components uh, possible, the pro riders uh, use it, amazing group set. Shimano has n almost never been the lightest one, uh, but these components are light and pretty durable. So when, where Altigra uses steel, Dura Ace might use alloy, where Altigra uses alloy, Dura Ace might use uh, titanium 
uh, and where uh, where Altigra uses uh, like carbon reinforced polymer, dryers will will use uh, carbon. So that's the difference. The the crankset is beautiful. It's very light. It feels like featherweight. Uh, the the forearm design is uh, now on all the cranksets uh, from Shimano, uh, but this is asymmetrical. So. They, the arms are closer to each other just when we need uh, the, the most stiffness because that's when we push the pedal. So uh, when the right leg is now at the 3 o'clock, we have a lot of torque right here so that the, the two crank arms, uh, two arms will take it. And then when we have the left leg on the 3 o'clock position and we push it, that's why uh, these uh, these arms are here. I think uh, having one additional bolt mounting the larger chainring to the crank arm would even um, enhance the stiffness, but still it is very good um, and, and very light. Dura Ace doesn't come with uh, some new technologies Altigra wouldn't have. Uh, it will be just lighter. I think it's fair to say Dura Ace is a lighter version of, uh, of the Altigra. We also have the uh, shifters uh, for hydraulic brakes. We have the mechanical ones as well. Uh, the rear derailleur is super light. It's got carbon fibers, got some titanium. Uh, of course the shadow system just as the Ultigra has. This is the caliper for the hydraulic brake. Nice looking. This is the rotor also 140 or, or, or 160 millimeters uh, ice technologies. Frieza so three layers plus radiators. The cassette is super light, it's got five uh, titanium sprockets and the carbon fiber uh, carriers, very light. This is not the cassette for the trainings be because it won't be as durable as alloy steel uh, components. So we train on either Altura or 105 and we race on Dura Ace. The calipers, the mechanical ones, very light, stiff, symmetrical uh, dual pivot, nice working and braking very well. The front derailleur also feels very light. I think all in all it will be about 300 grams difference between uh, Dura Ace group set and the Ultigra. We're gonna compare it uh, using the scale. And then the pedals, same system and no differences in terms of technologies between Ultigra 105 and Dura Ace. The weight is the difference. As on the Ultigra components, we also have the TT specific uh, parts, which is the shifters uh, and the braking levers. So you can spec your time trailing bike fully with Ultigra or Dura Ace components. DI2, DI2. Whom would I recommend DI2? Well, I don't recommend DI2, guys. To be honest, um, I've been riding DI2. Uh, I've been riding FSA, the um, electronical uh, road group set. I've been riding uh, Campagnolo. I was just playing with the SRAM as well. And I just don't see the point for myself uh, to, to use the electronical system for two reasons. Uh, number one, because of its price, very high price. I see many other ways to spend my money, uh, even on cycling. And number two, for DI2, um, since it's electronic, all I would like to have it wireless, uh, but b because of because of those those batteries and it's not wireless, you still have to route those cables. I don't see any point. Since you've got the technologies, do something like SRAM did, which is uh, completely um, wireless. Maybe it's not that easy. Maybe it's not that easy, and SRAM ha has been some problems with the MTB group sets, I don't know, uh, but the, the road one uh, works. So the price and the still cable routing um, makes me not even think about, about the i2. It clicks very nicely. Uh, the battery will last very long so that you probably will, will forget actually to charge it because you don't have to do it every day, every week. Uh, those who who are using, who are owners of uh, these groups that say that you will be shifting more than you need just, just for fun because it's, it's so nice. Yes, it is. I do confirm that. The FSA electronical is like half wireless. The, the shifters are wireless, so with the batteries, uh, but you have to connect both uh, derailleurs with the battery. So still cable inside the frame. Uh, the derailleurs are not bulky. They look pretty nice. The motors, little motors are very, very slim, uh, small. It's, it's operating uh, quite nice. And the front derailleur, you will see that there is a motor here. 
So that's what I think. Uh, those who, who have been using uh, DI2 for a while, let us know what do you think about it. And that's it. In the future, I hope to review for you also the other group sets like uh, other brands, SRAM, Rotor, FSA, Campy. We'll see if that's it for the Shimano. Uh, you can support my work by, by using uh, my affiliate links and some, some helpful links are in the description. See you guys. I'm running, running and going for the training. I'm on the run. Bye bye. Ah. <sighs> guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Remember to join our forum at sigbiker.com where we discuss all the topics, uh, training, service, any issues with the bikes. If you want to share anything with us, join our Facebook group. All the links are below. And if you want to join my patrons, feel free to do so. And now, okay, you might watch just one or two episodes more, but then let's go and ride. Achoo!